everywhere in the catalogs. Oh my gosh. But very few people can really do it well. I get to introduce you to somebody who does it extraordinarily well. You're gonna see a, a, a little frog. The frog is gone. He's sold out. But I do have a dog, a little puppy, a little kitten, and a really cute bunny rabbit. I, I still don't know how you did this this well. Barbara King returns to us once again. Welcome. This, this is the faux finish of the summer of 2019. Yeah, this is not just a uh, resin. Right. This is actually a faux moss that we applied to the resin sculpture underneath. So you're gonna wanna touch this because you can feel the texture, not only just see the beautiful textures that that faux moss will give you yep. in different lights. It has a different deepness in the color tone, but you're gonna see every detail in all of these animals. Um, uh, it is stunning. Oh. <laughs> uh, they're beautifully done. You okay? You're good? Okay. Uh, and these are the pieces that you put out just for sheer yeah. fun. Put these in a fun place. This is something that a lot of our customers are using inside and outside their home. This looks adorable in a little girl's bedroom. Here's our bunny scratching his ears, one ear up, one ear down. But it doesn't matter where you put these pieces because they're done all the way around. You're going to see the detail in the paws to the little bunny tail right on the back there. Yep. This faux moss is great because you don't have to try Try to keep this alive. Uh, and right. Real moss is really hard to keep yeah. alive. Yeah, well, it's funny. The real moss is a problem. This is stunning. Take a look. We've got some videotape for you as well. Because oh, yes. of that, you want to be able to, to put these and leave them outdoors if you desire, am I right? Oh, definitely. This so that to me was crazy. I never would have expected that. Yeah, this is a piece that really looks great because that green color is something we forget about adding to our gardens. There's the frog that hopped away. Yeah, you kind, away. Of, you kind of expect him. your garden to take care of that color by itself. It doesn't. Yeah. Green will give you that a burst of color with everything else. It'll accentuate all the other colors in the garden. And these are just those surprise pieces that whether the kitty is sitting up on a fence post or on the deck, you know, they're nice always job in places. Nice the sculpting, like the way the, the paw is bent. Oh, and thank things like you. That. Just to capture a personality and to do it without the usual, you know, painting of colors or the look of the, I thought that was more difficult and really impressed. This is clearance sale price. That's 40% off of QVC pricing. That easy pay payment, I, I don't see easy pay payments often on pieces like this. You can go ahead and just put $9.93 into it. We send it and you get it, and then you worry about the other half later. That's yeah, pretty this fabulous. Is really putting on the spot. Uh, out, of the, out of the three. Yes. Do you have a favorite, the cat, the bunny, or the dog? Uh, you know what? I love bunnies, and I know, I think our customers love cats. Yeah. Cats have, the cats have been the, the All most right. popular. Yeah. He is awful cute. Really, yeah. really cute. Really getting limited at this particular point. And the dog is especially adorable, too, with the cat because they get along so well. You don't have to worry about the cats and yeah. dogs fighting here. Can I tell you a real quick story? Yeah. We have both cats and dogs on the farm. I've got two barn cats. Uh, one of them, his name is Louie. Do you know Louie? Have I told you about Louie? Never. Louie Louis is so mean, I think he has a uh. tattoo. All right? <laughs> Scares he is, you, huh? He, he is the mayor. This one's not mean. It, it's his place, and he just lets everybody live there. And I love Louie. <laughs> My dog, Pooh, is scared to death of the barn cats. Because when he was For a little reason. puppy, he came over to say hello, kind of, <laughs> and, and it was a boxing match. My dog won't go anywhere near the cat. Uh, yeah, they yeah. rule the roost, those barn cats. They don't mess around. And then here's our adorable Look dog. Guy. I love the detail that the dog really shows. Look at the tongue sticking yeah, out yeah. there like he's panting. This is a great. The fact that it's you can see eyes without you made it really tough on yourself. We had to go through so many samples to get the detail in these guys right. Look at the ears, the paws. You actually see every single detail yeah. in it. And again, all the way around, they look amazing. These are great pieces also to use in a boy's bedroom. This is something that but, you could use again, inside hold, or out. They'll hold up to rain and, yep. and elements. And yep. 
You don't worry about them. Yeah, this that's cool. I, and I love the bunny as a centerpiece where, where on the you, table. I was going to say, where would you put? I him? think he's adorable. You could put him in the vegetable garden. It just looks really cute having a bunny there that's not yeah, eating everything. Yeah, yeah. But this is a great height for centerpiece. There we have him in the garden there. But for a centerpiece, you can see above him, and you're not going to have to move him away when you sit down to dine. Right. You're going to love the texture. You're going to love the comments, and you're going to love touching them. They are soft they are adorable and the texture is so so pretty on that these. bunny it's about nine and a half inches in length he's eight inches wide and sands roughly about 11 inches in height if you like the cat the cat is a little taller mm -hmm. that's 14 inches a little shorter in length that's about 10 inches if you want the dog he's a little lower to the ground he's hunkered down the dog is a full foot in length from nose to tail about six and a half inches in width and stands about six inches high. But this moss covering, I've seen other people try to do it. I was so thrilled when our designers were able to get it yeah. right. Getting the detail right is amazing. These are some Otherwise, of the most, they look like blobs. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they really do. And I, I'm telling you, the big catalogs look at that face. are all <laughs> showing this moss finish for 2019, but not everybody has done it well. I mean, it and works it all with starts, everything. It starts with the sculpture first yes and then the coating yeah we had yep. to get the right sculpture and get the right mold going for that and then get the right moss on this and the color of moss is beautiful and it picks up all the different lights and the hues and this is a piece that you're going to love forever whether he's sitting inside on your fireplace hearth they'll look adorable yeah, just, or yeah, outside on, at one of your resting areas your chat areas good. sitting by your door and I have to show them together because I think they're so adorable together, the cat and the dog. I think it's you know, such a great pair. You know that cat is planning that puppy's demise. He's ignoring you know him right that. now, pretending he doesn't exactly. notice him, but he yeah. knows he's there. <laughs> <laughs> That's too cool. Uh, Barbara has been now part of our family now for quite a few years. For many years, she was behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. Doing a lot of design work. And a couple years ago, you, you wised up and went, why am I doing this for everybody else? gonna make my own. Yeah, let's do your own so stuff. So much fun. Wait till you see the perfect addition to your patio, your deck, your garden that, that she designed. That's coming up in just a little bit. I'm gonna give you a real brief sneak peek of it. It's one of my favorite rolling carts that she has ever done. And, oh, we're gonna do it right away? Let's do it right away. This, this is her galvanized cart.